Okay, I'm really excited to show you this house today. It's another one of M&A's master crafted, amazing homes. And obviously, when you come up through the gates and you come up the long drive to this home, you come into this paver, um, circular drive here. You've got the fountain in the middle. You can see the quality of the precast, the brick and stone, um, beautiful handcrafted mahogany front doors. You've got a main entrance and a family entrance, um, slate roof, beautiful chimneys. But um, what this house has is the M&A difference, the M&A quality molding and features like no other. But this is not just a normal home. This is what I would call a mansion. I'm going to apologize up front with you guys. I'm sure that this one's going to be a long one, but it's worth it. There's a lot to see. Um, so you come in the mahogany doors. Um, you come in to a marble foyer. You've got a beautiful Carrera marble, 24 by 24. But check this out black walnut staircase, curved, free floating with the wrought iron railings. I mean, that is spectacular. Um, Chambord crystal um, sh Austrian chandeliers, they're all on lifts so you can drop them down to clean them or change a light bulb. Um, then as you go into the formal dining room, the, the reception room, or the living room, you'll see got black walnut hardwood floors. I'm gonna go through this side first and we'll go take a look at the living room. But before I go in, um, I wanna point out a couple of things. All the molding crafted, you know, very thick. This, this molding was made just for this house, all custom. All the Lutron lighting system, so you just touch one button and set the mode in the house. All the lights can come on or come off or anything that you want. When you get in here, you've got the black walnut, then they've got a cherry inlay and a maple inlay to give it that M&A look. Another Austrian crystal chandelier in the formal living room. Real plaster molding on the wall. And look at that detail. It's big, thick, you know, really stately molding in here. Um, as you see, all the windows, they are Marvin Architectural Series windows. So you've got a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of windows in this house, maybe more. Mantles, um, all, these are wood-burning fireplaces, but then they run the gas to them. So you've got a real mason fireplace, but you do have gas if you want to do gas starter or gas logs in them. Um, the Carrera marble. Uh, um, surround and then this beautiful mantle with sconces crystal of course on either side all these windows are casement windows as well so um, that gives them the screens on the inside so they don't get worn and tattered in the weather then you come through black walnut doors these are glass french doors and you come into a little bar and this bar services the the library and the living room got a little wine chiller a hammered copper sink with a copper um, fixture and place to do your wine rack cabinets and check out this they've got the sink gold leaf sink beautiful faucets um, a very a handcrafted um, cabinetry and then an OV toilet. These toilets do everything, including wiping your rear end. Um, I mean, they're all computer controlled. And you know what, men, you don't have to worry about putting the toilet seat down because it does it for you. It's also heated and everything else. I mean, it's crazy. The, the, these are the nicest toilets that are made. Um, then you come through another set of French black walnut doors into the library. Cherry cabinet uh, 
Actually, these are mahogany built-ins in here. Plenty of built-ins, a little desk. Um, you got the black walnut floors, beautiful chandelier, beautiful ceiling treatment in here with the molding and everything. Makes it very formal. Place for TV above the fireplace. You've got the two-sided fireplace in here, all overlooking the pool in the back, and we'll get to that. Now, we've crossed the hall. I've gone to the other side of the foyer, and I'm showing you the formal dining room. Again, you've got the cherry and maple inlays, put, and then the hardwood floors built, put on a diagonal. You've got another mason fireplace, same kind of um, look as the other side. All of the detailed um, molding in here um, also has gas um, pre-wired into the, the light, the, the uh, fireplace. Um, crystal chandeliers, beautiful ceiling work. And this is really one elegant um, dining room. And it's big enough to have a banquet size meal. Now, we're going to go into the back hallway. Um, so this hall services the foyer to the garage, and that way you're going through a back hallway. You don't have to go through rooms. Um, there's a coat closet back here, and this is the butler pantry. Um, so going into the dining room, you've got a big butler pantry, big cabinets to put all your chafing dishes and serving trays, um, you know, and all of your china and glassware. Okay. As now, as we work our way back from the front door again, um, you have this great grand reception room, beautiful chandelier, again, that this one's on a winch, coffered ceiling, um, all plaster molding in here as well, and it all looks out going back into the pool area. You've got the other side of the two fire, two-sided fireplace, and then it works its way into the kitchen. Now, as we enter the kitchen area, this is a pretty well thought out kitchen because you've got your breakfast area over here, overlooking the pool, gorgeous marble um, on your floors, um, but you've got this service bar over here, um, you've got OG edges on the, on the lower cab countertop. You've got a double OG edge or a waterfall edge, as they say. And you've got another um, copper sink here. But this is a great place to have a service bar if you're having a party. Um, you also, or, or a butler's bar. Um, you've got your ovens over here, warming drawer, microwave oven here, so that's a third oven, I'll show you in a little bit, and your espresso machine. I mean, a mealy coffee maker here, so you can have your espresso just the way you like it. Big butler pantry back here, and one of the things that you'll find is that they painted and had the doors finished exactly as the same as the cabinets. You'll notice that the cabinets are two-tone. You have the darker brown on the center islands and then a lighter off uh, you know beige on the walls um, sub-zero refrigerator plenty of cabinet space you've got upper cabinets with lighting in them so you can put your fine things that you like that you want to show off there and then this is where it's pretty spectacular you've got a 48 inch wolf so you've got two more ovens here You've got one, two, three, four, five, six cooktops plus the griddle in the, in the middle. Water, boom, pot filler right there. I love this beautiful back, tile backsplash and little cubbies on the sides so that you can put their thing, your most used items right there for cooking. There is a under counter microwave back under here, and then two sinks here. There's a dishwasher 
on the, the butler sink, and then there's dishwasher here, plus trash, trash can packer, and I love the fact that they've got these hammered copper sinks, the farm sinks, beautiful, just it, immaculate. It really comes off nice. You've got the black countertop here and the white countertop here. So the whole thing really comes together and it's very practical because you can have a cook in the kitchen and serving butler. The ovens are far away if you want to not have them involved in anything. And then you have ovens in the range yourself. You can also have someone else doing cleanup all at the same time, working in the kitchen at the same time. So it really, and it's wide enough that two people can walk side by side within the kitchen. So it's really very well thought out and very lovely kitchen. When you come off of this back hall, it goes out to the garage here and then comes back. You have a family powder room, your family entrance in here, the elevator on all stops on all levels. And then you've got back in here with a family entrance and you've got all your cubbies in here built in. So really nice mud room coming into this house as well. When you get up to the second level, you're gonna see some things that you may not have noticed from down below. You get to see all the detail in this coffered ceiling, all the molding details. Um, you'll get to see the big molding up close and personal. Um, but there's also another thing. You've got this door over here and over here. They go from one bedroom to another. So if you have two kids and they, you know, that want to hang out with each other, they don't have to come in the main hallway. They can just shoot across um, on their little bri private bridge. Just kind of a fun thing. Um, so we go on to this side of the house first. And we're gonna go and there's two bedrooms on this wing. Um, all the bedrooms have black walnut door entry doors. This one has that door I just showed you. That is another way into the other one. Every house, every room has a walk-in closet, um, cove lighting in the tray ceilings, four recess lights and a center light. So you really have very nice. And then the way they do all the bathrooms, every one is a little different, but they all have the doors. They have a detail in them and very modern, up-to-date tile the way you would expect. <laughs> okay, so now you have the second secondary bedroom. And again, you'll see all the same things. And you'll see, again, Different tile, but very nice. Third bedroom on the upper level. This is the other side of that walkway, again, with its walk-in closet and a beautiful bathroom with marble this time and a detailed pattern on the wall in there as well. Here's your elevator access to the second floor. Second floor laundry room with lots of cabinet space. So that put, makes it nice. Then there's, this is the fifth bedroom on this level. So you have nice bedroom here. Again, four recessed lights, cove lighting, walking, very large walk-in closet in this one. And then again, you'll see very nice bathroom as well. And as you can see, every bathroom is a little different, so they made it so that not everything's the same. Okay, off the back staircase, which is a really good feature because you can run up the back staircase and right into the master bedroom, you have the master bedroom, double door entrance here. Um, of course, the black walnut. These are black walnut floors throughout here. You've got a two-sided fireplace as we come into the sitting area. Cove lighting, beautiful crystal chandelier, recesses, again, the plaster molding. But then they have this closet, a little walk-in closet. But you know what? This is the man's closet. 
So we haven't even gotten to the woman's closet yet. Um, but it's got shoe racks. Even the detail on the crown molding and this beautiful base molding that you'll see a lot of detail in, it runs through the closets as well. Um, as we go back towards the bedroom area, he's made the bedroom still intimate because you'll, your bed wall's here, you've got a place for the TV above the fireplace, um, and you've got all of the same type of features in here as well. Um, this house has its own zone for the master bedroom. Then, as you come in, you've got this wall back here, and we haven't even gone into the bathroom yet, and you'll find that back here, hidden away, is a little morning kitchen. So you've got a fridge, you've got a sink, got a place for a microwave, you can put a hot plate in here, coffee maker, that type of thing. Okay, now's where, when, if you're a woman, you're looking at this house, you'll wind up saying, honey, we better go get it. Um, but you've got this beautiful closet here. Um, you've got a mirror for getting dressed. You've got shoe racks. You've got all kinds of cubbies in here. And check this out. You've got another little closet back here to put your sweaters or boxes of shoes or whatever, purses, maybe it'd be a purse closet, I don't know. Um, then we haven't even gotten to the most beautiful part of the house, this room is the bathroom. Now we're coming in to the bathroom and you've got beautiful marble floors, but you gotta just check this out. I love how this is. You've got marble here, got a beautiful marble top, this, this spa is, has light therapy, has back massagers. I mean, what a beautiful tub. And then the shower is amazing. They got this glass to curve around. And then when you get inside, you've got your program. You can just set it to whatever you want. And the body sprayers will come on and they'll come. They've got all of these places. You've got here and here. You even have four different body sprayers that rain on you and you've got your music and your programming. So all you have to do is push the button whatever way you like a shower and that's how the water will come out for you. Okay, now, not to forget, you've got a his and her potty room. So you've got water closets on both sides. They both have bidets and EV toilets. So you've got it on both sides. I love the sink that they have here. It's very unique, um, beautiful quality fixtures. And they surrounded the wall in the, the little marble and then put the mirror on top of it with the lights into the mirror. Um, you'll see that on both, both of these. Um, her side with a little makeup area. Got a linen closet in all of the bathrooms, actually. I didn't really go over that. And cove lighting in here as well. I love the molding and everything. And this bathroom just looks rich. Just in case the five bedrooms that we just looked at is not enough, you got a fourth level up here. And it could be used as another bedroom. It could also be used as a kid's playroom, or we've done it as a, um, a safe room before. A lot of different options here. It's on its own zone. This one has a cedar closet up here. This could make a great secondary closet also. Um, and it has a full bath up here. So if you do use it as a bedroom, you've got another full bath as well. So as we come down, the black walnut staircase to the lower level. You'll see that it curves and mimics the upstairs. You'll see how tall the ceiling is. First of all, it's got 10 foot ceilings down here in the lower level as well. Um, really makes it, and now this is a totally in ground basement, but it really makes it feel a lot bigger. Now, when you come back, you're gonna see this bar. We'll get a little closer look at that in just a minute. Um, I'll go through the boring stuff first. Um, you do have a bedroom down here. It does have full windows. 
and you'll see that he didn't just do the window wells in um, stomped concrete, he actually bricked them all up. Um, you've got a walk-in closet in here, four lights, beautiful crown molding, light, lights just like upstairs. He finishes them everywhere, even the base molding, all the, the high-tech wiring, everything's just like upstairs. And then in the floors in here, did high quality tile in here. He did um, the same sinks and also very nice textures into the um, marble on this bathroom as well. All right, so now we get to some of the fun stuff. Got the rec room here, got another mason fireplace. He's pre-wired it with the gas in it put a place for a TV above it. There's also this patio that's out here. So um, outside, it's an underground sunken patio area, drain tiles all in there, but it gives you a lot of space. You can put tables, chairs, couches in here, and you don't see, you're not seen by anybody. I love this bar. You've got the mar chipped marble um, on the front of it, but this has got a leather texture to the countertops here. Beautiful, you got the French refrigerator. Um, there's an ice machine back here, dishwasher, sink, um, a microwave. There's a place there that you could have a range if you wanted to or another type of refrigerator. Um, and then you have a pantry as well in here. So you've got a big um, bar, but that's not the best part. Come this way, check this out. You come in, this is your exercise room. So you've got glass walls in there. There's a sauna back there, place to put towels and different things over here. You get the mirrored walls, a really nice exercise room back there. But that's not it. You come in to the media room here. You come in all state of the art, equipment in here. Then you come in, you're blocked off here from view, but when you come in here, you've got your stage, plugs all along so you could put the vibrating, you know, and surround sound chairs in there. You've got one, two levels with this. Everything's raised, a place for a 180 inch screen and projection or flat screen, depending on what you want. Beautifully decorated with gold and dark blue and a black ceiling. So it really makes you feel like you're in a very luxurious movie theater. You also have a back staircase down to the lower level. So it goes all up, all four levels. It's also black walnut with a black walnut railing and goes right into the wine cellar here. Another feature I love is this beautiful solid metal door with a glass in it and then into the wine room. You've got enough room in here to have a table and chairs so you could have as a tasting room. You've got your display side over here and then you could put all your bottles in all the different shelves in here a really nice um, wine room. Then behind there is some extra storage as well. Now getting into some little details here. When you come into this bathroom, you've got a full bathroom here, but your shower is a steam room and there's a place for a washer and dryer hookup down here where you can put a stackable so that for your gym and for sauna, you've got a lot of towels down here. You can just do it um, here, plus the elevator comes to this level as well. Now, let's go out to the back. Obviously, when you look at a home of this magnitude, you'd expect at least a four car garage. This one, five car, and it's big enough that if you wanna put lifts in there, you got that space also. As we come outside, there is a little kitchen porch off of the breakfast room. It's got beadboard ceiling, 
two ceiling fans. I love the brick brick archways. It's all surround. I mean, all flagstone and a beautiful cooking out here. You've got the sink with a cover on it. You've got the big exhaust and then a little two burner cooktop over here so that if you're doing some sauces or something, you can keep them hot while you're cooking up your brats or burgers or whatever, you know, barbecued chicken. So then we take a couple steps down and you'll see that even the steps are a carved um, slate so they match and then you come into the pool area. Now, nice patio area, rectangular pool, so you can just push, push the button, cover closes up the pool, you've got the jacuzzi there with the waterfall flowing into the pool, but there's also a patio area down here, you've got a patio area on the lower level that we'll show you, and um, over here you've got a beautiful little pool room that has a little kitchenette, a little bar in here, a place to come out of the sun, um, or for the grandmothers to sit and watch the, the grandkids or something like that while they're in the pool. You also have two separate changing rooms. You've got a full bathroom here with a shower and a toilet. And then on this side, you've got another one, full shower, exactly duplicate of the other room. So they've got drains in the floor. So this is um, very easy. You can get it wet, spray it down and wash it all out. And then all of the equipment for the pool is inside of this room. So it's nice out of the weather and um, easy to take care of. So for under $6 million, this house has so much to offer. I mean, off of the master, you got that porch up there. The veranda looks out over the pool area, outdoor kitchen. You've got a beautiful pool, a beautiful pool house. It's all gated, all fenced in. Um, this is an estate for somebody that really wants something special. If you want to see it in person, give me a call. My name is Casey Marganow, Casey Marganow Fine Homes, 703-827-5777. That's 703-827-5777. And thank you so much for watching.